I want to go to the app. Yeah. What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to App Slug, the show where I look at Android games on my Galaxy S5, and today, taking a look at Robot Conqueror. Uh, on the Google Play Store. This is a free-to-play game. This is a gesture-based, it's kind of like a wave-based um, tower defense, but really more of a tower offense type game. Anyway, we're going to jump right into it here, uh, and I will show you what I mean. Uh, I feel like I, ha I have not done an app slug in a while, so uh, this one got emailed to me by the guy who made it, and was like, yeah, look at my game, and I'm like, usually I don't do that, but uh, I will always download and play the game. And then, uh, if I think it is worth looking at, then I will take a look at it. And this one's actually pretty interesting. So, what you can see here is that the enemies on the screen, uh, have a symbol over their head. And the symbol over their head is what you should be doing in terms of making a gesture with your finger. So, the entire game is touch-based, um, and you will make different symbols to do different, uh, different things. And I got this here, which is pretty cool. I can just hold that over the enemies, and that messes them up pretty badly. Uh, the top of the screen is my health, uh, so you want to use your shields as much as you can. I think I missed a guy. Um, but you can see there, there are a uh, six different things that I can do, or six different... Uh, I'm, I'm overheated. Six different... Come on. Six different gestures that you can do. I think the art looks pretty nice. Uh, I think the progression so far, I'm really early into it, I'm not actually sure how it's going to work. Um, but, played past the, you know, uh, tutorial, and I was like, well, let's just show a bit of the gameplay off here. Um, it has a pretty robust upgrade system. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how they get your progress in terms of money, because obviously it is free to play, so there is a marketplace in play there. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work. Um, some of that. Do some of that. Get my shield back up. I haven't died yet, so uh, at least in terms of how it works so far, I haven't gotten to that point. Uh, you can see there, there are actually you, there are quick shortcuts instead of having to draw every time. But your quick shortcuts are limited, so you can only use those uh, once every so often. And I ran out, so I'm not going to do that because that's going to cost me... Something or other, I'm not sure what. Uh, and honestly, I would say part of the enjoyment is going to be actually drawing the thing yourself instead of just hitting a button to do it. Um, but you can see that some enemies, uh, the symbol on them will change depending on their distance from you. And that's interesting in terms of a gameplay. But yeah, it's more of a tower offense because you're fighting waves but you're constantly advancing towards them and using your weapons to fight them. Uh, and that is definitely different from, say, Tower Defense, which has planning, uh, etc, etc. Uh, and this guy is just gonna, so this guy is a boss type deal, so you kind of just look for what symbol he has over his head, and then draw it faster than he can draw his stuff, and, uh, you should hopefully get your hits in and hurt him, uh, in such a way that you choose. Uh, but if you don't, then he will shoot you, and obviously you don't want to get shot. So um, we'll just get through this boss here, and I will show you kind of the other menu stuff, the upgrade stuff. I think I missed there. Um, and the other things that are contained in this uh, game. So keep on doing this. Uh, the music is kind of repetitive. Uh, um, and you can see there I have uh, two kinds of currency, I'm assuming that is. Uh, the one's energy and the other one is that like little fire thing. And so far the energy is what I've been, been, been using to upgrade my, my stuff and to repair my stuff. Now, I don't know how much the repair actually takes into account. Uh, like if everything breaks it just becomes less effective or what the deal is there. I'm not actually sure. Um, haven't played that much of it. But it looks nice. Uh, and it plays nice. And uh, I am always about any game that memes... I'm, I'm always about any game that uses uh, the touchscreen, uh, the the phone touchscreen format effectively. Uh, so we're going to head back to the home screen here. Like, trying to cram a console game into a phone experience, for me, never really feels right. When you build a game from the ground up for phones, 
Uh, I am all about that. So, upgrade shop. Here we can see. There's 122 lightning to fix all weapons. I don't have that. I've only got 87 right now. Uh, but you can see here, each thing has power. You can add more quick shots, or I guess you can buy more quick shots. Uh, I've been increasing my shield duration, and that seems pretty important at the start, is to have better shields. Uh, but you can see here, you can, you know, do repairs here for five, or pair that to the max. And then, like, you know, obviously you're prioritizing what, what needs to be done here. Um, so, uh, I don't have that money to do that. So, uh, the shop. And here's the shop. You, you can spend between a dollar and sixty bucks to buy uh, energy and whatever that other currency is, little flame symbol. Um, now, I assume that once you upgrade, say if I wanted to upgrade flamethrower, and I spent a bunch of money to get that upgraded, at a certain point, when that gains enough level, I'm assuming, like, uh, down here on uh, ultrasound, at the bottom there, there's a little flame symbol and not lightning symbol, because most of these have, have lightning. So I'm assuming once you get to a certain point, it's going to want that other paid currency. And you know me, I don't spend a damn thing on free to play games. Never, 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 never. Anyway, this is a robot conqueror. Uh, it is out on, I believe, both Android and iOS. Uh, it is free to play, and uh, I think it is conceptually pretty interesting. I don't know how much more I'm going to play of it, but I think it's neat. Uh, so, this has been AppSlug. Uh, I am your host, as always, Attack Slug. And until then, and until next time, I will see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out.